Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're trying something new by bringing you a lot of mid-week video. So what we're going to be doing, we'll be focusing on one particular aspect on the job where we feel like we can give you some tips and tricks and you get to see a, a, a lot more of that project being done rather than rushing around job to job throughout the week. We are building a flat to pitch roof from start to finish. The only thing we didn't get done was a Velux window because the, on the last day he changed it from a, a standard Velux to an Integra Velux window. So we're over in Bradbury now. Uh, we've literally just dropped the garage wall. We're just about to put the angle line in, which will support the wall plate. And then what we're going to be doing is building the flat roof. So I'll show you now. So we've just literally dropped this wall here, took ripped out the door, ripped off the roof. We've got a wall plate that extends across here now. So we've got an angle line that'll sit where Wayne is into the existing wall and then that'll support the uh we're we'll made to put the wall plate across which will take the weight of that roof and the flat roof which will tie everything in so we just about to literally set up do that and then we're gonna get get this start looking at getting the flat roof on so that's it now wall plate is transferred all the way around bang on level we've got a steel that goes right across the, the across the top there which takes our wall plate straight through. We've got to put a pad stone under each side, which we've not done yet, we'll do that later. But as you see now, I've put my first flat roof joist on either side, give it a two inch gap off the either side of the wall. And then I found my center of the room and then I've marked it for a 1500 by 1500 skylights going in. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna fill in all my flat roof joists and then when I'm setting out the uh, lantern, we'll go, we'll go through what I'm doing there. So I'm just gonna throw the time lapse up, get this, do these in and then uh, we'll go back to the, I'll jump back on the camera. So as you can see now, I've got all the flat roof joists in, installed and fixed. We've set our 1500 by 1500 uh, landing, as you can see like, somewhere there behind me. Um, and yeah, so all we need to do now is start looking at cross pattern it, fairing pieces, OSE, OSB boards, and then uh, we've also got the pitch roof, which is there where we ripped off the old out the old trusses, trusses to build a new pitch there. But uh, we've done all right today. We've got a wall, full wall down, steel in, roof off, flat roof joists in, and uh, we're having a good, good, good tidy up of the site now. The lads are jet washing the drives down, and then that's us done for today. Uh, we're going to be cracking on with this tomorrow, and. Uh, Hopefully uh, it's just started raining, the weather's going to be nice and uh, we're hoping to get the rest of this roof near enough built tomorrow uh, and it's just like finer things like bolts, hangers, uh, veluxes um, which we'll do on another day. See now, flat roof's built. Barge boards are on, or fascia boards, whatever you use, what I call them, we call them, I call them fascia boards, some people call them barge. Uh, we've also cross battened it for cross button ventilation. It was originally supposed to be having uh, a warm roof, but we've changed it to a cold roof because the client didn't, didn't like the idea of having a massive fascia. So the fascia should work out in between 9 and 10 inches once we get the fairings on in the OSB. And it's becoming this set into the centre at the moment. We've set out uh, a 1 metre 500 by 1 metre 500. Uh, roof lantern, flat roof lantern and it's centre to this whole room uh, wall plate runs across the back so when the pitch roof come down it's going to be tied into these spars here all bolted together uh, and we've got a velox going into the front of this, this is an old garage which is going to be the, the new kitchen area going to have a big velox 780 by 980 velox in the front of that overlooking the kitchen and then this is just going to be a pitch roof new fascias on the side new faces on the front and this one's going to be let me spin the camera around again over here and this is now we're starting to move pretty good with this so we are worked up now for today that's all we're doing and we're going to go home and we are coming back here to build the pitch roof either on sunday or monday so we are now literally we've just installed the uh the ridge beam which is a 10 before ridge beam uh we've got our first four common rafters in just to support the, um, the ridge beam stop it moving from left to right and then we're going to start uh, filling in both sides now
Everything is cross pat and ventilated. We've set out a 4x2, like a 4x2 plate ready to build the lantern off. And Mike now is just cross battering it. I mean, not cross battering, putting all the fairings on. So we've got fall, which comes this way into the gutter. So if we're running down the roof and coming straight straight down this roof. Um, we're going to get all these fairings on and we're going to get the OSB on top. But yeah, uh, it's time to look sound now and we're we'll getting there pretty quick. So as you can see, all the fairings are down. Some of these fairings are like bananas. We have to have the clamp, use the clamp to bend them back in. Uh, Mike's just getting the OSB down now. Uh, so you've got the plate around for the lantern. Picture roof's all finished, the ladder spar, the ladder and facial board on the side. Just need to put the facial on the opposite side of this picture roof. So we're gonna get all this done. Uh, got the facial softness and EPDM coming tomorrow. And we're gonna get this completely watertight tomorrow. So as you can see now, we've filled the front in. So we've had to pull a, pull a straight line through from the porch, because that roof stick, that section of roof's been staying in, it's just being retiled, battened, uh, felt, and new faces, sofas and gutters, the rest of the roof's staying in. Because um, you don't be reckoning we didn't want the plaster inside the house wrecking. <laughs> So that's us done for today. We have completed all the timber work on on this on this project now. So uh, we have, tomorrow we've got a big delivery coming. We've got all the uh, tiles coming. We've got the fascias, the soffits. We've got all the gutters coming, felt battens. Uh, I've already said tiles. Uh, the rubber is coming for the back of the flat roof, the EPDM, and we're going to get this fully watertight tomorrow. Just now finishing off the OSB. We've got the lads on the front now. They're felt and battening. But what we're doing now is we're going to get the OSB down and we're going to set out this lantern and we're going to look at getting the faces and the soffits and the uh, and get this watertight with the rubber by the end of the day. So we've got a bit of a task to do too, but I think we'll easily get it done easily. Right, so we've got our faces and soffits installed on the side. We have now got our faces and soffits and corners stuck installed on the front. Me and Joe are just laying, laying down now the rubber um, and we're going to get start looking at the, getting this glued up. And um, we've got a drip trim to go on the front, a drip trim to go, um, a, a, a trim to go on the side, and a trim to go on the back. And yeah, we're going to start gluing shortly. We're just basically rolling it out, seeing how much play we've got, and then we're going to even all the play out. We've got the rubber laid down, we've cut out the centre where the lantern's going and we've done it so we can do it in one piece right through instead of having a cut in it. So what we're going to do now is just get, get out the, now get, you get like a little crease in it, we get all the creases out of it and then we're going to glue it up, get it down and then we're, we're going to go around last and put all the trims on. So that's us finished for today. All the faces on, all the soffits on, 
flat roof is uh, fully watertight. We just need to come back in the morning. We've got a uh, We've got our ladder to put around the other perimeter for the um, the lantern to sit on, and then the front is fully tiled. We've got to tile this back section, and then we just we've changed. The client doesn't want a standard Velox now; he wants an electric. So we just we've just ordered that, which is a week turnaround. So we're waiting for the Velox to to arrive. But yeah, we've done all right today, and it's uh, not a million miles away. And we're just going to hand this over. To Joe and that pretty much to finish most of it off tomorrow. We're, me and Mike are gonna get the ladder in, finish a bit of rubber around the ladder, a couple of patches on the corners to put in, and that we'll have about an hour or two on this. Joe will finish the roof, and then we've got Aaron coming to fit the bifolds and the window, and then we'll all we'll have his first fix and plastering, and we're done on it. That's the end of the video and I hope you've all enjoyed something a bit different and you get you get a lot more out of it. So if you like if you really like this video please like and subscribe it really helps the channel out and I'll see you all on Sunday.